Thank you, Rainbow Kitten. I right, count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Patch notes! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another patch note show. It's 4.13. Hello over in North America, an hour earlier than usual. And hello to the rest of Europe, which is an hour early for most of them over here. Oh, yeah. AJ is joining alongside me today to break down the patch. It's 4.13, the mid season patch. AJ, I guess the first thing to mention is what is the big aim for the mid season here? Mid season, we always focus on balance. We also have a lot of big new features coming out in this patch, and we're actually stretching mid season over three patches this year. So 413, 414, and 415 are all going to have some extra new stuff that a normal patch wouldn't have, and there's going to be some surprises along the way. Okay, so 413 <laughs> mainly focused on balance. Right. And we'll see as we Interesting. get into Interesting. So three patches so we'll for the, the mid season patch. First of all, Project Olympus is the first thing we're going to talk about here, but for us to really talk about They're it, it's quiet. better for us to go to a video that we prepared a little bit earlier. They are pretty quiet. Starting with 413 and leading all the way up to the start of season five, Project Olympus will be focusing on a number of big changes that Smite fans. Why are they so quiet? In this update, you're going to see changes to the wisdom. They're so quiet. The way you can queue. Are they so quiet the for you, you guys? In the game it's turned up as loud as they can go. So a really cool feature coming so in called multi queue. Players can actually ju join as a party or join solo. Select all the it's matches so they want to play. So if they want to play Conquest or Siege, if they just don't know which one, select all this three is of them. You queue up, and then it'll sit there and try and figure out what the best. Looks like I got is, something. And then it'll throw you into that queue. So Prestige is a cool system coming to Smite where players will actually get past level 30. Little known fact that everyone has actually been gaining experience this whole time, so we actually won't have there to start everyone at level 30. Is so it louder? For a long time, you actually might log in, you're level 70, 80, maybe even like 110. But the Prestige system is there just to make sure that players feel like they're getting more rewards for the experience that they're earning, kind of show off that they're a long time player. So another Project Olympus update coming in the 413 patch. We have engine improvements to Smite. We have Direct Deluxe 11 support. We have screen resolution scaling. Ooh. We have a whole bunch of other features that'll make Smite look really crisp, mm, really clean, including you. an HD texture DLC pack that you can download to make all the textures in the game really, really clear. So the Wisdom tab is actually gonna be getting a big update in 413 and throughout Project Olympus. First things first is actually now called the Learn tab, so players clearly understand that this is a place where they go to learn Smite. Yes. We have a whole bunch of updated short 30 second clips that will teach you about basic mechanics to longer form videos that will teach you about more complicated mechanics. Nice. So with the mid-season patch, one of the things we wanted to focus on was putting Ooh. a little bit of polish on our siege mode. We've gone back oh, and improved the art on the siege map with a focus on the trees. So now players will notice that the map will load faster and perform better. With Project Olympus, actually have a whole bunch of rank changes coming out as well that are going to improve quality of life. We have a new pick and ban phase that is going to be there to help players kind of plan what they want to pick and ban. We also have a new leaderboard update that will actually show the points that you've earned so that players can better understand where they are in the leaderboard and how the leaderboard works. And last but not least for this round of changes, we have the gifting of fantasy points. If you're a player who has a whole bunch of fantasy points accrued or you just want to be nice to another player who was maybe a good sport, who really helped out the team, you can actually give some of your fantasy points at the end of the match lobby through just clicking a button. Simple as that. Cool. As we continue to update Smite, we want to make sure we improve the game in ways that you can enjoy both inside of a match and outside of a match. And we're really excited for this set of features. So I'm super excited for you guys to get your hands on it, and I'll see you guys on the battleground. To follow nice. along with all the Project Olympus updates, head over to olympus.smitegame.com. Nice! And there we go, a nice little look at Project Ooh, Olympus. Yeah. Early now. looks too. And oh, is all that stuff louder. in this patch or is it gonna be over the next couple of patches? Right, so we're starting it in this patch, but not everything listed in that video is gonna be in cool. 413. Okay. Ranked is gonna be in 414, some at multi queue coming a little later, a lot of things are 414 or, or later. Awesome. Yeah. So just to break down what you're gonna get in this patch, we're gonna see the DirectX 11 uh, beta version, just to see how that's cool. gonna play out too. Right, right. And then on top of that, the high resolution texture pack is also gonna be involved in this. Yep. As well as the resolution scaling. Along with, let me just check down here. So I haven't used a laptop today, so as you can see, it's on the fly. Parallax occlusion mapping and 64-bit client too. Yeah, all things that are going to make the game look better and run better. Mm. So we'll see how that works out too. But the prestige levels, the, the one thing that really caught my attention for a second, oh, yeah. other than the multi-queue, was the prestige levels. So you've basically been leveling throughout the game without even realizing it so far. Oh, there's a little look at the resolution scaling right now for oh, yourself. Nice. You know we're going to be able to do that today. That's yeah, so news. here you can see where the new options are in the video settings. Awesome. 
So just go into your video settings, you should be able to yes, change wow. anything, mess around, see what works best for you, and if you can get some improvements. Yo, but the prestige level 160, dude. 160 is the highest level. All the way up from, yeah, we went from 30 all the way to 160. And as you heard in that video, uh, everyone's been earning experience the entire time. So people are going to automatically adjust when this patch comes out. Now, rumor is Yo. there's not many players who are max level. There's very few. Under 100 that will, that will be already max level, but and most across, of us will be, be grinding a bit for it. That's across wow. console and PC. That's across all platforms. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I heard there's still some on PlayStation 4 who have actually already hit that. That's oh, yeah. I heard. Yeah, there crazy. are. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. That's uh, nuts. Next up is the Wisdom tab. Just to mention that again, you're going to see that turn to the Learn tab. Correct. So and we're going to start off with tutorial videos. There's going to be a whole new set of tutorial Income videos that are teaching game modes <laughs> and roles. And then soon we'll be expanding that to a fully searchable glossary and even some more ways to learn the game. Okay. Well, I'm next loving up all on this, the list dude. Of things to talk about this patch is going to be the triumphant chests. Oh, yeah. Now, before mm. you panic, I've made sure these <laughs> are not your typical high res chests. That's true. There because you go, these are free, there technically. You go. Yeah. So, what triumphant chests are is a new win of the day kind of feature. So what you're going to be able to do is win up to four matches each week. That's okay. going to give you four chests. And you're going to run. There's four tiers of these chests. Or actually five, I guess. There's a triumphant. No, there's only four. Four. As you, play, as you win the matches, mm -hmm. you'll be able to earn these chests, and you'll be able to get uh, increasing rarities for increasing rewards. So these are really just added right on top of everything else. You're still going to get your login bonus. You're still going to get your uh, win of the day favor. But you can also earn up to four chests a week that you can get really cool things from, specifically uh, the unique team boosters that are hard to find, yep. okay. uh, some emotes, avatars, and even an exclusive special skin that'll only be available through the system. Which is actually part of this patch that's exclusive skin, which we'll get to later on. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Just okay, so you guys okay. know at home. That's all good. That's all good stuff, man. I'm down. Let's have a little look at the Triumphant Chess well, system free. then. And obviously, you're going to be able to get as many ch as you just play the game. You're going to these chests and get better, right better, better it is Yep, hot just, in just keep playing and get up to four chests a week. Just keep going. Awesome. Next on the list is a couple of miscellaneous changes for you. Uh, we fixed an issue where god walking effects could be seen through Fog of War. And also, players will now be able to see all game mode cues when selecting the normal cue type. Those are some big miss changes. They are. That thing where you could weirdly see people's footsteps too far away now, that's fixed. Okay. And you will now be able to see all the cues on one screen, which I know the community has been asking for. Cool. And on top of that, next up is cool. God Bug Fixes, which is just Kukulain. Like this patch like uh, Fixed various description errors in his passive. Yes. Good job. Get his name right. At least, uh, well, you don't have to cast him this week. You're lucky, but. Get his character right. Get his actual abilities right. Get his I'm text sorry. right. And then yeah, we patch so typos. far. Yeah. I'm going to blame it on fish. Yeah. Keep in and mind, three Matt patches. Is it technically three patches First of all, before we get onto Conquest, which I know a lot of you be asking about soon, we do have some changes to Clash and Joust. And I want to ask you, first of all, AJ, what the main focus of the changes to those game modes are? So just make some small changes to Clash and Joust. Really, you end up in these situations where your build feels really far ahead of your player level or right. vice versa. So what we're going to do is just tweak the XP and uh, gold spooling to better even that out. Okay, so the first one's going to be in Clash. The experience okay. is going to come down on the spooling from six experience to four experience. Mm -hmm. And in Joust, the gold's going to come down from eight gold to six gold Yep. on that one too. So there's small changes there. And then next up on the list is Siege. Oh, yeah. A lot of changes. Bigger changes here. It's been a long time since we touched Siege, so we really wanted to take a look at it and see oh, what was most prioritized. Siege. I did a tweet a while back, got a lot of good feedback from the community. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're going to implement some of those things here. Well, first up is map improvements. We've made the map, uh, sorry, made large adjustments to increase the performance in Siege map, including the new foliage and trees. Right. So that's just going to improve graphical performance. All of them are changed to updated tree model using, you know, better art, newer art, and sure. it's going to run better and look better. And next up cool. is reduce the pre-game time from 90 to 60 seconds in Siege, as well as yeah. when a controlled Siege juggernaut is defeated, the team that defeats one will now gain 75 XP and 100 gold. Right. So that start was just a little awkward. It just felt too long. So we're fixing that to be more even with the rest of our modes. Sure. And the Siege Juggernaut change, that's a big one, which is when a team kills enough minions to spawn Juggernaut, the enemy team, when they defeat it, is going to get an XP and gold reward. Okay. It could really help balance okay. the teams out. Um, Siege is really the mode where you can capitalize on a lead bigger than any other mode, so really trying to even that out more in this mode. And then on top of that, we're going to see some cool. jungle adjustments. We've changed the purple buff to a yellow buff. Yellow purple buff. no longer exists. No. No, Finally. it's an arena. It does? Yeah, it's still an arena. Does arena exist? Yeah, we should probably put move speed there, we too, maybe. Just maybe we'll, we'll do that soon. Just remove arena. But now you're going to have move speed on, on Siege. Let you make that big rotation a lot just more. Just arena. No, we can't do that. Why not? A lot of people like arena. It's good. Uh, bug fixes as Good well. Point, on top of that, with the sorry, with the purple and yellow movement speed change, we've increased the wild juggernaut's health max scaling by twenty percent. Yes. Well. Oh, wow. The wild juggernaut now regenerates health over time when unleashed. He was really easy to ninja kill, just just steal yeah. real quickly, especially a hunter or a basic attack assassin. So fixing that a little bit, and he had some weird kind of leashing rules. So we're equalizing that out to act like more of the, the way the rest of the game does. Okay. Okay. Bug fixes fix an issue where Hoey's well, that's randomly thrown in there. Fix an issue where Hoey's ricochet could become stuck. 
in one of the side lanes. Yeah, holds. it was okay. there. It was. It was okay. one from Twitter. Uh, thank you for pointing I, that out to me. I, I, I thought mean, that was just a Ho Yi bug, and I was like, why is the Ho Yi? No, it was bug specifically on Siege map. One just wall. For that. Yeah, it was, it was like, strange. Time Thanks. to move now to <laughs> the main game mode, which is Conquest. There we oh, go. Yeah. At least a lot Give of people's viewpoint is it's Conquest. Um, overall season goals. We, you said them at the start of the year. What is the main aim of this patch at the mid-season point with these Conquest changes you're looking at? So we've seen a lot of really unique strategies develop around Conquest. Mm -hmm. Season four, Conquest has been really interesting in that we changed the jungle timers and we're seeing a whole variety of new starts now, especially from the pro players. Sure. Now, an issue we've run into so far this early season is that the pro teams are handling this change a lot better than everybody else. <laughs> so we're trying to make a bunch of targeted changes this patch to make sure that Conquest is not as much of a runaway game. You're going to have to take a little bit more objectives to get that lead. It's going to be a little tougher to get ahead on the enemy. That's team. what I okay, want to hear. So let's go through the That's change. I apologize I for my hear. head, by the way, which is profusely sweating. It's really hot here in Spain. There is no. They've not put the AC on the event because the event doesn't start till tomorrow. Yes. So if hot. I look like I'm just sweating away, it's not because I'm nervous or anything like that. <laughs> it's just hot and I'm a big fat guy. <laughs> Onto the changes. Hey, General, please. there is now a global audio to indicate when Gold Fury and Fire Giant have been defeated, right. similar to that of the Portal Demon mm -hmm. global audio. Mm -hmm. So just a small little change. Yeah, and this can actually have some big impacts. It could really let you make some new decisions. Okay. You may be a little more careful when you try to steal it if the team is you know, on the way. Or as mm -hmm. a defending team, you can hear that that happened and you can change your strategy on the fly. On that, that is because the all lane minions are now going to be at 30 seconds. This is all the big lane one. minions? That, all I three knew lanes that was gonna happen. will collide. Finally. At the same time at Finally. 30 seconds. And not just that, though, with the minions. We've also got to do a bit of a change with the brute minion. It's no longer going to spawn until the third minion wave. Right. So it's going to put so when that was it spawning? Second seemed, wave. It was always second wave? Second wave and then okay. every three. So now it's going to be third and every Wait, three. So it was second wave and every three after. Yeah, that's now it's three, three, three. Right now it's a little easier, and that that tougher wave that could really push into the tower a little yep. bit more is gonna be a little bit delayed, so you, you have time to equalize out levels if your opponent got a better start. Yeah. Okay. Now in the jungle as well, we're gonna see a lot of change to jungle in terms okay. of experience here. What was the main goal of the experience jungle changes? So we really wanted to pinpoint on the camps that are contested, so the ones that the both teams have to fight over, mm -hmm. and just decrease the experience value. We really found that experience change is what causes the that bad feeling of snowball. Where at gold advantage, you can really play a lot of different ways. Okay. But experience is really tough to play, come back against. We're taking that down. So, jungle adjustments. Fire elementals. We've decreased the experience reward from 30 to 20. And we've increased the health of these from 90 to 160. They're the baby fire wow. elementals. The wow. elder elemental has had a, also had a decrease in experience. Its reward is now going to be 80. It used to be 105. The oracle is the wow. next up, and that's going to have an experience reduction from 85 to 65. Mm -hmm. Mini Cyclopses, which wow. are the babies either side of the buff camp, they're going to have a health increase from 90 to 160. Wow. Mid Harpies are going to have an experience reward increase from 55 to 58, ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. And Gulf Your Experience decreased from 100 plus 10 per minute to 50 plus 5 per minute. Right. So wow. a lot of experience reduction in a lot wow. of areas right. and health scale. Yeah, big changes here are minis are getting a little tankier to make it so assassins can clear them more effectively, but other classes will have a tougher time. Gotcha. And that experience that's a lot of changes these contested objectives oracles fire elementals etc except mid harpies were taking up just a little bit because you ended up in a weird spot between splitting them in mid lane where you end up like level 1.999 so just a little bit of experience makes that feel better makes you hit level two and gold fury still going to give you big gold reward but going to give you a much less experience reward throughout the game sure so the okay. gold still there, the experience not so much Jeez, really helps reduce it. which is really coming down in the jungle a little bit and be a little bit more focused that's true it's really fun those tower side part is getting hard. Less than, what's the main name of the towers? Uh, no, this is a big one, too. Orcs. Towers, as you scale, scaled up in power later mm -hmm. game, you would get to these tier two in Phoenixes, and you would really just destroy them super quickly. So we're kind of actually making a big change here to give them a lot more health. Okay. Tier two and Phoenix will have a lot more health than tier one. What? It's going to make it a little harder to what? aggress. You're going to need to prioritize your comps that can really push towers if you want to do that quickly. And here you go, then. The towers are going up, and the tier 2 tower is going to increase health from 2,000 to 2,500. Oh. We've also increased the health of a phoenix from 2,000 to 3,000. We've also increased the respawn health of the phoenix. It was 5%. It's actually going to respawn. It's gone from 5% to 25%. Oh there. My. And on top of that, the max health from a phoenix when it respawns was 40%. It's now going to be 70%. Oh, so my really those God. Are completely Games are going to take forever. So now they have the, the chance where you can actually keep Defend. them Live. You can They're gonna play. take so long! And Holy and crap! A little bit longer to kill. Okay, so those are the changes to the map so far, but yep. I guess it's time to move on to like items and god balance too. First thing to mention is relic time. Relics. Jeez plan, Louise. So we did relic upgrades in season four, and we want to expand on that in the mid-season. So okay. what we're doing is we had a lot of relics that just 
had some cooldown reduction on them, and we wanted to give them a new component as opposed to just a cooldown reduction. So you're actually going to see most of the relics, not all of them, gain something new upon upgrading them. And, but you're going to see those cooldowns change to match their base. So a lot of them okay. are actually getting cooldown nerfs, um, but you're also going to see some new effects, and we're going to actually just change a couple relics very much so as well. Well, let's go through oh them gosh, from the okay. top. Aegis Amulet, the first one on the list, it's no longer going to cleanse roots and slows. Right. Same cooldown still. Okay. The Aegis Upgrade will no longer cleanse roots or slows either. So nothing's changed with Aegis other than right. it's actually getting nerfed. Correct. Oh, so wow. as I Aegis said, Aegis nerf. Aegis and Beads are the two exceptions. I said there was a couple exceptions. Sure. Aegis and Beads are just going to get that cooldown reduction. They're not going to get any new effects. <sighs> not, not two seconds. Uh, nothing special. No, that nothing nothing that, that, that wow. people in the community might have thought was going to happen. Um, so they're just going to get that, and we're actually going to nerf Aegis here. And next on the list is Blink Rune. Now, Blink Rune at the base okay. is going to decrease the cooldown from 120 seconds to 100 seconds. Mm -hmm. But the upgraded version is going to come down an additional 10 seconds from 100 seconds to 9. Sorry, from 90 seconds to 100 seconds. It's still the same. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, that one's actually being increased. This is, like I said, the cooldown nerf on the upgrades okay. to, to equalize okay. to the base. Blink Rune, 120 seconds to 100 seconds. Blink Rune upgrade is going to be 100 seconds, and it's going to have a new effect. Right. After blinking, you take 10% reduced damage for two seconds. Right, so we wanted to give Blink this extra initiation factor, hey. and I guess it could be pretty good for escaping too, but usually when you blink, you're out of combat by that point. That's true. So you'll see the e cooldowns equalized and not, new component. Not that crazy. What I'm doing is the next one on the list. Not that crazy. It did undo a lot. Yeah, this is a, this is a hot one. I had a good whine about that one. Yeah. It's going to nerf. It is. Overall, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Well, little little buff, but big nerf. Increase the health of Mana Sword from 50% lost within the last five seconds to 60% lost within the last five seconds. Right. But it no longer subtracts the three seconds on all abilities currently on cooldown. Right, that part is being completely removed from the that base relic the and being moved to part. the upgrade. And the upgrade oh. will be increase the cooldown of this item to 120 seconds of the upgraded brace we're doing, but it will give you those three seconds on all abilities currently on cooldown. So you will want to upgrade this again. Oh, it's fine! If you want to use it aggressively, you're going to need to upgrade that. Yeah. Sure. You're or just going to upgrade it! Aggressively as well, but it gives you 60% really HP now, though! A really huge place, really At really base good. level! Next up on the list is Cursed Ankh, and that's going to have decreased healing reduction from 65% to 50%. We've also increased the cooldown from 100 seconds to 120 seconds. <laughs> but there is a new effect. Enemies affected by, affected, sorry, by Cursed Ankh have their mana costs increased by 20% and have the cooldowns of abilities fired while afflicted increased by 2 seconds. That's so this annoying. is the Cursed Upgrade. Regular Cursed Ankh, gonna behave as is. Okay. New Cursed Ankh, oh. increased cooldown reduction, and he got lost extra healing. It's gonna be this new curse effect. That's which annoying. Is when, you, when you curse the enemy team, they're gonna have increased mana costs, and after they fire their abilities, they'll be have two seconds added to those abilities. So Man, additional two seconds after using the ability while under the effects as well. That's really, really good. Right, so it's really, really what's gonna you know, keep people annoying. from healing back up, and it's gonna keep people from <laughs> even turning the fight or re-engaging sometimes. Next up on the list is gonna be Heavenly Wings. And what's the main, I'm looking at Heavenly Wings right now, and what's the main aim with Heavenly Wings? Big thing with Heavenly Wings is slow immunity. This was a, a very yeah, hot yeah. subject. We had some slowing relics and slow immunity, and this was a kind of a weird trade-off. But in the mid-season patch with these new effects that are, that are completely unrelated to each other, we don't have this like heavy rock, paper, scissors effect. Sure. So this allows us to bring the slow immunity back to Heavenly Wings. So okay. it will now be slow immune the entire duration of the effect. And if you get hit by some of the other slowing relics, you're going to get it's hit by other I wish I could actually relics. see so this doesn't directly counter. the change is happening. Now slowing means you know? to use Heavenly Wings. It's, hard, it's hard, hard to just hear it. Oh, maybe they're actually going to get to it. And now also slowing mean obviously we had that already, but the cooldown has increased from 110 to 140 seconds. In the right. And cooldown's going back up because this is a very powerful effect now because you can now give your entire team AO Fatalic. AOE okay. Fatalis effect with, with slow immunity. Perfect. On the next on the relics is going to be Horrific Emblem. This one wasn't picked up too much. Uh, we'll see if it gets picked up now because is this just on the base, the upgraded version? The base is upgrade, staying the same. Upgrade. The base is staying the same. The upgrade is going to go from 90 seconds to 130 the seconds. The base. Okay. But the new effect is enemies afflicted by Horrific Emblem deal 20% less damage to all targets while afflicted. Yeah, they're just going to be significantly For how long? Afflicted. And even if they sprint or speed up or use any sort of cleanses, For they're how still afflicted by just dealing less damage. Gotcha. So the idea of some of these relics is like they have the original effects which can be counted on. You have to pick it up every game. It can still be applied. Yeah, and they're very they're unique in their ways that we have some... You gotta pick it up every game. We've always had, but these are kind of different ways to apply it. Sure. Old times, we used to have shell. You could put this kind of effect on your team to take... You gotta pick up shell in that. Five seconds at last for 20% damage. Okay, so next up on the list... Pop that into shell. Oh, my 
magic shell is zero damage. Mm -hmm. It's been a through the grinder a few times where it's been either too good, too weak, too good, too strong. What's the plan with shell now? Well, I guess a good way to fix the too weak, too strong is to just change it completely. Oh so no. magic shell is now very different. It's actually going to give your entire team a temporary health shield. Okay. So this is going to be the blue health bar that's going to absorb damage. Kind of like a Geb shield looking, is that what right. you kind of like? Yeah. And what okay. the real focus here with magic shell is that we're going to increase the potency of this since it's very short lived. So you really rewards players who time it really well. Gotcha. So previously, like shell felt great when you see this incoming Vulcan ult and you shell it. Yeah. But then if it's nerfed, it doesn't really reduce that much. But if it's too strong, you can use it all the time. Now you get the shield that's just especially good for countering situations like that when you know a big incoming burst is coming. So this for a burst. Okay, well, with How that big? magic shell we just said now provides AoE health shield at the rate of 100 plus 15 health per level. Right. Shield lasts three seconds. The upgraded version, in addition to the health shield, all allies in range also receive two block stacks for the duration. These stop up to two basic attacks. So it's very much like Athena. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. So, you know, we got the <laughs> <laughs> more general damage on the base shell, but the upgrades will be especially good against base. <laughs> So those late game hunters where yeah. they can shred through that shield in like one basic attack, those block stacks are going to be much more effective for that. Yeah. I just want to check. That, that, was the the that was the biggest middle finger to hunters I've ever seen. <laughs> Short for three seconds, they're not going to be still there. No. Short he said, three yo, three hunters, how about you no. don't hit anybody late this game ever? This only refreshed and is short duration. Next up is Meditation Cloak upgrade. Man. Um, with the base is staying the same, but the upgrade is we're going to remove the HP5 and MP5 buff. Yeah, from not this. a very exciting upgrade. Nope. nope. But the new effect is applies a buff to yourself and allies hit for five seconds that causes mana cost to be decreased by 30% and have the wow. cooldowns of abilities fired while with this buff decreased by a second. So it's a second Whoa. of cooldowns while well, using Meditation and as well the decreased mana cost. Right. Oh, so you're going to get nice. you know a pretty powerful cooldown wow. reduction, but for a short period of time and decreased mana cost, which we found is a really fun effect Hebo in a lot of ways. Terra's is Hebo very strong. <laughs> oh, they, brought me, they brought me some towels. Look. Save one for oh, me. I'm dying. No, you got I need these. Look at me. I look like him. Um, I'm dying. It's hot. Do you want one? You have one Maybe I could have one. I'm not the answer. I mean, I'm a Florida native, so I handle this heat all right. I'm not. I'm English. And it's, it's Isn't hot. it hot there? No. <laughs> not Sometimes. where I'm from. It oh. rains. All right. All the time. So next Hindus up on the list, after drives. meditation cloak, is Phantom Veil. Phantom Veil's wow, been there, dude. not been there, been These there. These changes. We're going to be looking at some changes with this. Yeah, so what really happened with Phantom Veil is the way the relic shaked out in the mid-season gave us a finally a, something we've been wanting to do, which is give it a damage mitigation effect. We already had Shell that was kind of competing with okay. it, but the, the Ghost Walk Avoid Walls really would pair best with reducing the damage that those targets are taking. Okay. We had too many relics doing that, so now that we have Shell being very different in Health Shield and Meditation giving some more utility as opposed to just health, we have Phantom Veil can finally now, it has the Ghost Walk, but then upon upgrading it, you're going to get true damage, reduced damage on people who are affected by Phantom Veil. So just to break it down, the How base much? version of Phantom Veil, now we're not going to have the 40% crowd control and knock-up immunity for allies affected by Phantom Veil. Okay. That's been removed. That's all that's changed with the base. The upgraded version, the cooldown has increased to 150 seconds to match okay. the lower start, right. as well as remove the 40% crowd control knock-up immunity for allies affected by Phantom Veil. Okay. But you get a new effect. Allies affected by Phantom Veil now take 15% reduced damage for five seconds. Right. So compare that to the one that you said we said earlier, oh, which is a 20% damage buff. This is a defensive buff, but not as we good as the buff. offensive option. Right. We have so offensive it's a little harder to apply that. Yeah. A lot of these have, have subtle defense, differences in the way you apply them and so in their strength. So that the, there's never going to be a true like, and damage buff and out damage out reduction. So you always have some effect that's persisting oh, and winning. man. Uh, next up on the list is going to be Shield of Thorns upgrade. Increase the cooldown from 100 seconds to 120, just to be in line with announced. Yep. New effects, however, on Shield of Thorns upgrade, which is enemies can lifesteal from the user for 50% of their total lifesteal. Right. So Life still is less effective against people with the thorns upgrade. Yeah, so we've tried it in the past. It had no, it had you would not light steal at all. This felt really bad. You couldn't counter it at all. Thorns kind of not very popular. Just a little bit. One life steal item could make you kind of ignore it unless you really do a big damage. They hate them so much. It's gonna make your thorns a little bit more. Oh my god. Willing to buy the upgrade. It's okay. Sorry, I got a little stomach. Jeez. Worry, Yo, Barracuda is crying so somewhere right now. Yeah, big changes here. Here we go. Sunday's always been an issue, right? Yeah. Well. It's been an issue since it was buffed and since it was discovered how strong it was. It kind of laid low in the game for a long time, I think at a very strong level that wasn't really picked up. But we really wanted to adjust Sunder here, make it feel a little no, different. So, what? key thing is, Sunder feels good to me 
and to a lot of a lot of people we discussed this with, when right. you target someone early in a fight and use it as a mark, as a way to as a way to call it a target and focus that target. Sure. It feels really bad when you're escaping at, at low health and, and you, you just get back. you just get hit in the back by it with, with, without any way to really react. So, new Sunder will only deal percent damage of your current health. Okay. So you cannot kill people with it. Okay. It'll deal less damage the lower health they go. And then the upgrade is going to gain the additional damage taken. So no bonus damage taken on the base and additional on upgrade. I'll read for it just out. Yeah, yeah why don't you go ahead and read it. But the, those, the differences are important. I get you. Change damage dealt from 30 true damage plus 12 damage per god level to 15% of the target's current health. Right. We've also removed the All debuff right. that caused the target to take increased damage. Um, Sundering Spear upgrade is now changed damage dealt from 40 true damage plus 14 damage per mm -hmm. god level to 15% of the target's current health and increase the damage taken, sorry, damage debuff from 15% to 20%. So the upgraded version is going to have a nice debuff on them after the, mm -hmm. the effect. Wow. The base version is just going to do a percentage of health. So you can't kill them. 15% health no, plus 20% damage taken, That's an OP Sunder still, well man. As you gain back All the actives are so good! The debuff's going to be now. Right, no debuff on the, on the base. It's not free, ladies and gentlemen. It's not going to be free. Do you need some more towels? I mean, I can borrow this one. We're going to be here all night by the sounds of this patch now. Nah, we're going quick. We're going quick. Are we? Yeah, we only got one more relic. All right, let's get out of this. We're on to items. Teleport is the next one on the list. <laughs> no oh, longer going to be able to teleport towards at the base. It's only going to be to towers. The upgraded version Whoa. is going to be the one where you can teleport to towers. Right, so teleport has just been a staple Sorry, to what? for a really long time. We wanted to Interesting. Do this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Screw the solo laners. Really I'm quick. down, you dude. Get a little mismatch in the solo Buff me in the mid all day. But, uh, Wanted to make it so that solo laners had a little <coughs> more freedom than the relic races. Okay. So this wasn't a must-have. Well, we'll see if so you can't make that super huge rotation to award early game straight away. Because you're, yeah. you're going to have to spend at least 500 gold to do right. that. Right. Okay. Next on the list is that's relics done. It's onto items now. Right. Items. So we're going to do these a little out of order. We're going to do them a little yeah. bit more category. Because guess what? Fatalis is dead. It's gone. Spoilers. Sorry, right. I got too excited. It's the first one on the list, though. It is. So we're going to start with season four with the Fatalis changes. So this was one that we wanted to buff in the okay. mid or in the beginning of season four. So because I'm happy. I it's finally gone. I, well, kind of. Let me finish. So beginning of season <laughs> four, we really wanted to buff Fatalis because a lot of mage ADCs took a lot of nerfs and were struggling at that point. And sure. the basic attack assassins mm. have kind of struggled for a long time. Okay. Unfortunately, along this buff, the hunters came in and completely abused the item. Yeah, they did. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> instead of... The item, Hasten Fatalist, is actually dead and gone. Right. But it's going to be replaced by a couple new items. Okay. We're going to have the Hasten Katana, which is going to be a more powerful version, only available to melee physical characters, assassins and warriors. Okay. Which is basically Fatalist. Which is basically Fatalis. It's okay. going to give you same stat, very similar stats, except a little bit stronger, and the true Fatalis effect. And we're also going to have the Hastened Ring, which is going to be added to the Ring Tree only for mages, so the mage ADCs can use that. <laughs> <laughs> Screw Hunters! <laughs> it hasn't Fatalis stopped effect, yet! Hastened Ring, by the way. Haste. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep right. doing so we have it! The haste effect on both of these items, but only available to mages and assassins. And then oh we have a third item gosh. that we give to hunters that gives them a stacking movement speed, but not as strong as the actual reduction of movement Man. penalty. Okay, so Hasten Katana for you guys at home is going to build off the Thousandfold Blade. It's going to be worth 2,400 gold. It'll give you 10% movement speed, 25 physical power, 25 attack speed, and the Fatalis effect, what? or the haste effect, if you call it now. Good. Hitting an enemy god with a basic attack grants haste for one second, That's causing good. you to be immune from basic attack movement penalty. That's the melee version, just yep. so you know. Melee. Melee only. And so then good. haste and ring, which is a magical version. It builds off the enchanted ring. Okay. 2300 gold, 50 magical power, 25% attack speed, 7% okay. movement speed. Okay. And the passive, hitting an enemy god with a basic attack, grants haste for four seconds, causing you to be immune from basic attack movement penalty for the duration, but it does have an internal cooldown of 30 seconds. Right, so every 30 seconds Whoa. you get four seconds of haste. This uh, pairs really well with Kronos and Freya's uh, stims, but it's, it's timed Whoa. purposely so you can't use it every single use of the stim. Sure. You have to kind of, you have to play your cards when you're really ready to go in. Wait for the right moment to use wow. it. Wow. Really effective. That's Haste and Ring. And we'll what a Freya bot. To Hunter's Bow is next on the list here. Right. Hunter's Bow. Tier 2. New, just a connection to the new bow. Gotcha. I was like, okay. Just to build off short bow into a new into a new line because uh, it only has tier twos and Odie bow, which have very unique passes. Gotcha. So these are all new items we're going through. This right is now. new, yeah. Sorry, I apologize. Okay. So Hunter's bow is going to build off the short bow. It's going to be worth twelve hundred gold. It's going to be plus ten physical power and twenty percent attack speed. Right. On this tier two. Okay. But it's pretty good. This goes tier two. It's going to build off the top of that. Is what we really yes. Want to talk about. This is the one that hunters are going to get. Which is, is that spelled right? Yeah, Atalanta. 
Oh, okay. I thought it was Atlantis. She's a, a she's a famous Amazonian huntress in Greek lore. Super famous. Mm -hmm. Super, Super famous. Yeah. She's a very skilled artist. Atlanta's bow. I'm just so happy about words to say on broadcast. Yeah. Builds of the Hunter's bow. It's worth 2,300 gold. Okay. It's going to have 30 physical power, 20% attack speed, and the passive hitting and the basic attacks increases your movement speed by 7% per stack, stacks up to four times, and lasts stacks last two seconds. Right, so it's a short duration movement speed buff that stacks up to four times. Every time you hit a target, this isn't guns oh. only, it's any target, you're going to build up this, this base movement speed that you can then use in any way. Okay. So this is going to remove your effectiveness a lot while you're constantly firing basics, but you could actually use this to more quickly weave in between sets of attacks or sure. even to rotate or to use some abilities, but you will not be getting the true haste effect anymore and as a hunter. They can even be bought on assassins and things like that as well. And that is the best part about this. Yeah. Yes, that the assassins, the basic attack assassins <laughs> that really... Everybody else can use it too. Also nice try, hunters. Oh, with the new haste, yeah, we'll yeah. see how that goes. Next up on the list of new items is an item called Toxic Blade. Wow. What's the main name of this item, first of all? It's toxic, so... Uh, yeah, so you get a little bit of an idea of what it might do. But we had the Witchblade change in Season 4, which kind of added a new passive to Witchblade, yeah. although having two passives with slightly different priorities made it tough to really buff that item to a fair level. So we're splitting Witchblade. Okay. So we're going to have Witchblade. Okay. It's going to get some buffs as well, some changes. It's going to be the attack speed aura, and the new Toxic Blade is going to have the stacking anti-heals. And here we go. Toxic Blade is going to be 2,200 gold. It's going to be 100 health, 10 movement speed, 20% attack speed, 10 penetration, and enemies hit by your basic attacks gain a stack of 20% reduced healing, stacking up to three times, and stacks last for five seconds. Okay. So it is a potential viable item for a hunter to be looking at picking up as an anti-heal item other than brawls. Yes, definitely. Much better for them, for them than brawlers. And... Um, the fact that it gives penetration yeah, puts it in line with a read. lot of other yeah. anti-heals items, yeah. Sure. That's that one. Next on the list is Shaman's Ring, which is having a redesign here. Yeah, completely redesigned that we listed it in the new items. It's very different. So it's so wow. different. So just read it out and then we'll go from there? Yeah, let's okay. do that. Okay, builds of an enchanted ring is going to be 2,200 gold, 60 magical power, 10% movement speed, and the passive, dealing 100 damage to enemy gods gives you a stack. At 50 stacks... Shaman's Ring evolves, gaining a new passive that allows the wearer to deal an additional 10% damage to targets hit by the wearer's abilities. Yeah, what? so this is a is this very game now. Right, so it's very loud. I can hear it. Yeah, the in-game audio is quite loud. Is so like as Pawn just saw there, he just hit all of those Odins with an ability, a bunch of damage, and his Shaman's Ring, the item actually changed. So we have a new feature in this patch called Evolving Items. Evolving Items are we had a couple in the game right. already. Right. We're giving them better art treatment. You'll see that soon. Ten percent bonus damage. To make some more. These are items everything that forever. When you complete the stacks, you get a much larger bonus than you do per stack. Okay. So Shaman's Ring is this first new one. After getting, a, he, he has to deal 50k player damage to get right. the full stacks, which he did quite easy, but it actually takes quite a while in a real right. game. Not 50K. And after he gets that, now fine. he gets this oh, new wait. passive where his first ability hitting a target is going to apply a mark debuff to them, mm -hmm. which marks who which god it is. Okay. And that Odin now will always take increased damage from Scylla for the next five seconds. Can you, the so you can't multiple stack those on the same target? You cannot. No, no one god can have multiple players. And you right. can't even stack or refresh it on the same player. It's okay. always it's always hit them to apply it, then you have the five seconds to do more damage, then it's going to drop off. If you keep hitting them, it's not going to refresh that. You're going to have to have this kind of five seconds really time to push yeah. when you combo. So you have to do 50k damage, nobody's Shantry. ever going to do 50k. Speed on as well, which you must have meant to see the entire ring tree. He's at 50 stacks of 100, that's 5k. That's 5k damage, two of them are more movement speed focused, just to allow a lot of the immobile mages to enjoy them as well. Okay, that's a nice little look at Shaman's Ring. I'm quite excited about it. So you actually saw Rangda's mask evolved there as well. Yeah. The icon changed when he got all those. So the ev evolution ones, I think we'll touch on right. in a second. Because we've got Ragnar's mask up next anyway. Rang right. Rangda's. I always say Ragnar's all the time. Well, I'm sorry. Vikings, man. I can't help. I can't change the name of this. That's very interesting. But yeah, basically interesting. That's what's going to happen here is with Rangda's mask, he's going to have a new passive. Yeah, so it's very similar to the old passive, but we had kind of adjusted the amount of buffs and the amount of stacks it takes to stack. Which so. is going to be new passive. Each time you get an assist, you gain a stack or two stacks for a kill. Right. Stacks provide one movement speed, one percent movement speed, and one percent cooldown reduction. At ten stacks, Rangdar's mask evolves, gaining fifteen penetration, and the item icon now evolves when reaching maximum stacks. So all these items you said that then all these items okay. are going to evolve into a new looking item. Yeah, you'll see. You'll be able to see that and in the tab screen, see your opponents if their item has evolved. So you know the difference between the two. I right. glance around and look at the little tiny number and go, how many stacks are they? Yeah, on right none, now? none of that anymore. On the list is Frostbound Hammer is next up. Oh yeah. 
It's a good one. Are these still new items? Or are we just oh, no, we're on to the balance now. Yeah. First one's ranged as was balance. Yeah. Our next one is Frostbound Hammer. Ranged basic attacks now apply a 20% movement speed slow. Melee basic attacks with Frostbound Hammer will still slow for the original 30%. Right. Cool. It's enough to range you really yeah. Nerfed Hunters. Screw you, buying and we have Frostbound Hunters. Right, right. Screw there's, Hunters. There's I love this I patch. This would work well in the Katana Tree, but this is not so much. So we are going to have Hunters. this precedent in the game where ranged versus melee basics can be handled differently on the same item, and we might end up applying that in future future patches as well. Okay. Next up, Rage and Lona's Mask. They've just had the evolution. Um, evolves when reaching max stacks. The evolution icon right. is going to be in the game for them. They those. were the evolving items that already really existed. Already they gave you very little per stack, but you got a big bonus for finishing. So now you're going to see those items change their icons. The new art as well looks really cool. Bomber's Mask. There's been a lot of talk about Bomber's Mask mm. and like how many we've seen in games and how many we should see in games. Yes. Yeah. What's the aim of the Bomber's Mask? Right. So we also have Here one change to Bomber's Mask for now. Okay. See how this goes. But you're right. A lot of people were picking up Bomber's Mask more roles than you would think. Yep. So we wanted to bring it down just a little bit, okay. specifically in the amount of healing you get from it, the sustain from it. It's something that the junglers will be clearing a lot of camps. They don't okay. need the okay. sustain per camp as much. But this might discourage some of the classes that take longer to kill jungle camps. It's going to take a lot more damage. It might discourage them from getting it as often. Okay, so it decreased the healing from defeating a jungle monster from 15% to 10% is the only change there. So 5% oh. decrease in the amount of healing you get from the jungle enemy camp, basically. Right. Okay. Bancroft's Talon. Can I still buy it? The list. Yes, yeah, Bancroft's here it nerf. goes. Bumba's nerf, Bancroft's nerf. Oh, you nerf Bancroft's. I'm really surprised about that. Frostbound nerf, Bancroft's nerf, Bumba's nerf. I mean... Bancroft's nerf is going to be cost is actually increased from 2300 to 2400 gold and the reduced base life steal has come down from 20% to 15% on the item. Just a little overtuned item. It's Next on the list is going to be Dynasty Plate Helm. Decrease the physical protections from 30 to 25 okay. and decrease the penetration from 15 to 10. Wow. Yeah, just a little mm. overtuned item and we're giving mages a bunch of new options. Yo, Plate Helm. Right here, oh, it's new options silly. with the new that killed Plate Helm more so than Bancroft. Just wanted to kind of look at this one Take it down a notch. There's no one in the venue, by the way. I just want you to know if you can hear testing. this through. Sound There's no one here. They're pretending they've got an audience right now. It makes me feel good about myself because I hope we get an audience tomorrow. Yeah. Celestial Legion Helm is the next one. It's going to have a new passive on Celestial Legion Helm. Every two seconds, you receive a stack of 10 physical protection. Stacks are removed upon taking physical okay. damage from gods. Stacks can only be gained after not taking physical damage from gods for five seconds. Right. So this is a complete redesign of Celestial Legion Helm. Yeah. So new passive. Out of combat, after you're out of combat, you'll quickly start gaining stacks of physical protection. And then as you take instances of physical protection, that'll drop off bit by bit. Okay. And we, you know, we get a lot of uh, talk about crit protection and things like that. And we're just really trying to reinforce that good physical protection items are the best defense against crit. So this you'll be able to get an exceeding amount of it. We'll see how well it works out. Okay. With Vampiric Shroud is next on the list. And Vampiric Shroud we've not seen for quite a while, Pom Pom. Um, no, Pom Pom. That's how I, in Pom Pom's yeah. here in spirit. Pom Pom Pom, he's in the back. He's but here. one thing we do have oh, thank you. is we've actually got at the same time. Like We've not seen much of Vampiric Shroud. We've seen a lot of Soul Stones. We've seen a lot of Sands of Time. Right. No Vamp Shroud. So we're looking mm -hmm. at trying to bring it back, basically. Yeah, exactly. So they all the, those mage items have very clear roles. And unfortunately, Vamp Shroud kind of fell in between. So we're refocusing it to make it much more clear as a, the sustain option. So if you want sustain. If you want some power and some sustain, that's where it's going to come from. If you want to be a little tankier, a little healthier, keep your health pull up, you're going to have to manage your mana a lot better if you're using Vamp Shroud. Whereas Sands of Time mana and then uh, Soul Stone really burst. Okay. So here's the change for Vampiric Shroud then. We've added plus 10 physical protection to this. We have removed the 4% magical lifesteal that was being given from Vampiric Shroud though. Mm -hmm. And as well, the passive damaging enemies with an ability restores 6 health, six health and 3 mana can only trigger once per target per ability. So it's not on killing the minions right. anymore. Right. It's on actually just dealing damage. It works much more like um, Death's Told Us, yeah. except for mage abilities. So you can walk up right now, you can hit the whole wave with one ability and get 6 triggers. Yeah. Per ability, that's oh, time so you multiply that by three. That's how many you get. So the health is good on the burst option for the abilities there, and a little bit more survival. And that physical protection is very strong early game. Oh, I can imagine. Like some lanes, we could see that back in the solo lane for some of the guys. Oh, is so lane guy like next raw, on the list. That's going to have an additional. So he's been added 50 health to this item, as well as decrease the attack speed from 10 percent to 5 percent on adventurers. Uh, ancient blade, I should say. Right. And then Adventurer's Blade, we've decreased the health from 150 Very to 100 and removed the 10% attack speed. Right, so really what we're doing here is you're going to see this split in-game, where the Ancient Blade tree is I'm going sure. to upgrade into Winged Blade mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Relic Dagger that are going to be more oh, tank focused. I don't know where and on the other side, you're going to have Witch Blade and Curse Blade. Which hey, can be a toxic Witch Blade and Toxic Blade, <laughs> which are going to be more Why is somebody talking uh, to Hindu? Why can we hear it? Or more I heard you me. On 
more effective on hunters. Okay. What just happened? Yeah, I'm actually talking. What's up? Hunters and oh, why, I heard you. Why are we Everybody listening? can hear you. Yeah, I heard you. I heard oh, you missed God. me. You missed why are we listening to Pon talk thought, to Hindu? I, Pond? I thought I was only hearing you. How's it going? It it's going pretty talk. good back here. I'm, I'm getting ready for uh, some of the countdowns. I didn't notice that you, when you actually opened a chest earlier on, you got an email out of it. It was one of the emails you probably were supposed to show on stream, right? Yeah, it was probably supposed to be the one I showed. Oh yeah, you got the new email. Give me my one poke at you for making a mistake. Spoilers. Destroyed you already. You came on the air for a second. No, that's cool. Join us, Pon Pon, and help us out. We missed you, Pon Pon. Join us, Pon. Cops over here. <laughs> Adventurous blade, blade is there. Cursed blade we've removed from the game. Though. That's the tier two of Witchblade. So gotcha. that's just gone. Okay. You're gonna have it upgrade directly, or you're gonna have Adventurous blade directly upgrade into the split. Okay. Well, we mentioned this earlier on about Witchblade changes because AJ was already here to right. talk about that. So this is now gonna build off of the Adventurous blade. It's gonna cost 2,050 gold. Mm -hmm. We've decreased the health on this from 200 to 100. We oh, increased God, the attack so speed from 15% to 20%. We've added 15% life steal. Magical nice. or physical on this, by the way. Right. And the aura enemies within 55 units have their attack speed reduced by 20%. We've removed the passive that stacks healing reduction debuff onto the new items. Right, so you're going to see some change stats here to make this item a little more effective to, towards characters that actually want a basic attack. Why so this is a really good, strong screen? counter item. If so you're a warrior wanting to counter an enemy hunter or another warrior that needs to rely on basic attacks, or even a hunter versus hunter, you could really use this in a very lot of interesting ways. Okay. Wing blade, sorry, wing blade is next up, and all we've done to wing blades is remove 10% attack speed. Yeah, slight percent, slight yeah. nerf to wing blade. That attack speed wasn't super critical. Um, the item is still extremely powerful. That passive is amazing. So a lot of the people thought that this item needed a nerf. This is the form we're doing it. Small change there. Okay, relic dagger is next on the list. And what's been the idea behind relic dagger? So relic dagger really just kind of spicing up the passive, we're keeping the theme of the item alive, but we're changing the passive from percent reduction to a flat 30 seconds reduction on relics. Okay. It's just going to be the item that you can really use if you want to use your relics a lot. Wow. So if you, you get supports really cool combos to use with the, those AOE relics. Just saying 30 seconds is a lot. 850 gold. We've increased the health from 200 to 250. We've removed 10% attack speed. And the new passive, your relics received 30 second cooldown reduction. Just flat 30 seconds. Just 30 seconds subtracted as soon as That's you fire a, a relic. You have the item. Going to be interesting. For yeah. Sure. We'll see how it works out. We'll see a so lot strong. of horrific emblems now and some shells and... Still going with items here. These items are non-stop, but these ones are going to speed We're getting close. Speed through, through the next couple of few, just to make sure we get there. Demonic Grip, increased magical power from 60 to 65. Decreased attack speed from 20% to 15%. Added 7% movement speed. Right. Telkine's Ring, decreased cost from 2800 to 2700. Decreased magical power from 80 to 70. Added 10% movement speed. Reduced 20% attack speed. New passive, every time you deal damage with an ability, you gain a stack of 20 power up to a maximum of three stacks. These stacks last for five seconds. So this is refocused into an ability item. Oh right. Gosh. Previously, it was an attack speed it's item. It's so hard to follow this without them, like... Telkines and Shamans on the ability side, they're going to have power and movement speed and ability-related effects. And you're going to see Demonic Grip and... I'm blanking on the other one right now. But on the other side, with more attack speed. Right. Okay, we'll see. With that, Telkines, next up is Enchanted mm -hmm. Ring. Decreased the cost from 1,400 to 1,200. Removed 15% yeah, attack tier speed. Ones. Added 5% movement speed. An Emerald Ring as well. Decreased cost Jeez. from 650 to 600. Removed 5% attack speed and added 3% more movement speed. I'm just All checking right, the then. battery's about to die on this. I can see it going. The laptop's dying too. Well, then we'll be in Just like the heat. It'll be fun. Um, Emerald Druidstone. Decreased cost from 700 to 600. Increased the magical protections from 10 to 20. Decreased the magical power from 20 to 10. Wardstone. Decreased cost from 1450 to 1350. Gre decreased magical power from 30 to 20. And added 50 health. Yep. Tier 2s. Tier 1s. And Voidstone. On this one, it's a big change here. Yeah, so Voidstone is getting health added to it. Oh, really? Oh, going to make it a little bit better for Guardians. Nice. A little bit tankier? Yeah, a little bit less magical power, mm -hmm. and a little bit less magical power, and a little more health, okay. so Guardians can buy this item more comfortably, and mages won't be able to use it as well. So, Voidstone will be 2150 in gold now instead of 2200. We've also decreased the magical power from 40 to 20, and we've added 150 health to this item. Next on the list is going to be wow. Genji's Guard. We've increased the MP5 from 20 to 40. That's a lot of MP5 there. As well as added 150 health and increased the passive cooldown reduction from 2 seconds to 3 seconds. Yeah, really just turning this one up a notch. It's got some cool passive that was seeing a little bit of use that people could really use well when they, when they timed it right. Um, I'm lost. Just turning, turning all that up. help. It needs, it needs sounded really okay, but I'm lost. We're also adding health to it, which yeah. is a little strange for this is the pure magical protection tree. We're adding some health to that because magical protection is a little less effective in a lot of forms in the game. Mm -hmm. um, it can be paired with health a little bit more safely. Physical protection, we still want to be very careful with that. Okay. 
Oni Hunter's Garb is next up, and this is going to get some health added to it as well, as well as some more MP5. Increased MP5 from 20 to 30, added 100 health. And on top of that, we're also going to have, I'm waiting for the drums to stop rolling, increased passive damage mitigation from 15% to 20. Yes, get hype! Decreased passive internal cooldown from 90 seconds to 60 He's seconds! New quick. This is very similar to Genji's. You got the passive oh, increased, you got the cooldown decreased, you got health added. Yep. That doesn't sound exciting okay. to use the way you did that. Rational IRL. Sorry, exactly. noise was there for the crescendo. We're, we're trying to take some of these uh, little lesser prioritized um, tank items and and bring them up into a viable state. Man. So, that's all items. I apologize early on. Obviously, this is the Patch Don't Show Live in Valencia. We're trying to get ourselves organized for the tournament tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So things are still obviously in the works. Obviously, we don't have all the text for you guys on screen, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. It will be posted very, right after the patch. But as soon as this ends, we will go over all that. That's all the items for now that are going to be changing. Okay. We do have some God Balance as well, and obviously the skin's still to come. So we'll go through God Balance first of all. And we'll yep. start off at the top. How many gods is the chain? Quite a few. Um, yeah, I don't know. Did, did Pond write this, by the way? Pond did. All right, we'll see. If well, I wrote it with him. I think they're enough, yeah. but we rearranged some things on purpose, all right? We wanted to put them more categorically, a okay. easier to remember. Alquang, okay. I guess, is the first one to really talk about Alquang's here. Alquang's the first one. He's been struggling a bit. We haven't seen him too much. Well, he's having some changes to his passive, isn't he? Yeah, so similarly, you know, last mid-season, we did a bunch of new passives and changed okay, some quite. and added some, and that, that was received really well. So we're doing that with Alquang. Okay. His passive right now wasn't so much as it was weak as it was just very awkward and very strange. It, it didn't follow a lot of the normal rules in Smite. It, he had to sheath his sword before he gains the charges, which right. didn't directly coincide with combat, and he could he could accidentally break that, and then he would only get it on a couple abilities, and he'd have to disengage for a really long time. So we're just doing away with that and giving a brand new passive where he's going to gain okay. permanent stacks of magical power and magical lifesteal every time he successfully executes a god in his dragon form. Okay, mm. so the first thing to mention then is going to be his base stats on Al Kuang. Right. We're going to increase the mana from 200 to 240, increase the mana per level from 36 to 38, okay. increase MP5 from 4.5 to 4.8, and increase okay. MP5 per level from 0.2 to point four one. Else you wanted, buff Kuang? Kuang? just mentioned there, the new passive King Sword. Each time Al Kuang successfully uses his dragon form to execute an enemy god, he gains a stack that increases his magical power and lifesteal. It stacks up to three times, and stacks are permanent. Right. Magical power per stack is 15, and the magical lifesteal per stack is 5%. So Oops. overall, it's 45 power and 15% lifesteal if you can get right. it stacked. And then he had he had some mana on his old passive. That's wow. why he made a lot of adjustments to his base stats mana, right. just to make sure he doesn't have Balance any mana. That's pretty decent. This. But this will give him more power late game. 15% lifesteal is more nice. of his abilities overall. Previously, you could only use it on three abilities Man. at a time, and you'd have to wait a long time. That's annoying. One. Once he gets that power, he's going to be able to enjoy Magical Shiblanga, exactly. He fires for the rest of the game and in extended engagements. Well, next on the list is going to be Bakasora, and you've already pretty much leaked the most of this. Yeah, I like this one I could almost fit uh, on a tweet. So, eat minion, large monsters that can only be eaten at 33% will provide two minions towards regurgitate. Yeah. So, we're talking about buffs, basically. Bo both buffs and yeah. fire elemental? Big fire elemental? Yes. Okay. And so oracles. Gonna be, and they're going to give you two stacks. And oracles. And, and they're going to give you too. two minions yeah. to your alt. Okay. And was then on top of that, regurgitate. Decrease the cooldown from 90 seconds to scaling. It's going to start at 90 seconds and go all the way down mm. to 70 seconds at max rank. Right. Still so better. those minions in his ultimate are definitely underrated. They can do a lot. They can let him split push. Um, okay. And now that he can get more than them, he doesn't have to feel yeah, bad. We're 100% moving into a late game He doesn't have to game feel like he has to roam around and really fill that up. You'll be able to do it a lot easier. You'll be able to use your alt more comfortably. More often. Okay. Next on the list is a big talking point for a lot of people in Bologna. That is correct. How have you guys found Bologna so far, this this split right now? Like, these changes, obviously, she's getting a couple of nerves here, first of all, so right. don't panic. She's very she's strong. But right is now. it a lot of nerves, or is it she kind of, where's the spot right now? Just a little bit of nerves, just to really focus on the issues with that she's most powerful. Right, okay. Um, Bologna and uh, Osiris, which we'll also talk about here. Osiris is not seeing any nerves this patch. Okay. Bologna and Osiris are both gods that have really dominated the, the solo lane in pro play. Right. And we've been watching their stats super closely, and in, in many, many scenarios, they are not doing as powerfully as people think they are. Okay. And very, very rarely are they the changing factor in their game. So Bologna has been m always consistently higher than Osiris, even in very high ranked, and, and in the SPL. We've seen Osiris having lower win rates and Bologna mm -hmm. being the best. So Bologna is getting that slight nerf first. We'll, be, we'll continue to keep a close eye on Osiris. There's a lot of item changes. He'll a lot live of for now. Changes. Excuse. We'll keep an eye on him. But it's it's important to note that Osiris is a god that is especially popular amongst pros. Excuse okay. me. And oftentimes he is, falls completely out of the game for a long time. He only received some minor damage buffs, and then people also started noticing him. We think it's a bit of a combination effect in that his raw power is not as high as a lot of people are saying. So the changes for Bologna like are going to be the base stats reduced in terms of power. Yeah, her base power is going to go down to from 39 to 36. 
And as well, bludgeon, it was at 10 seconds per swing. It's now going to scale. It's going to start at 14 and scale down to 10 right, seconds. Right, so rank one bludgeon, you're going to have a lot more time in between bludgeons. That ability is surprisingly powerful early game. And that base power is actually going to hit her bludgeon because she hits multiple minions with that, you're going to get the, uh, the damage that she loses is going to add up. Sure, so it's going to be 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Uh, huge so nerf. Rank that down in cooldown. And then on the list next is going to be Chiron. And you mentioned you're going to do a little bit of a change to Chiron? Yeah, I did. And uh, th I like this one because it's a little bit interesting. We're not just tweaking a number here. We're changing an interaction. So Chiron, Chiron is important to remember, too, that Chiron was a completely dominant god for a little while. Mm -hmm. He was insane. We brought him down in a bunch of ways, and we really wanted to bring back this feeling of comboing well with his abilities. Uh -huh. So what we have is now training exercise. If you hit enemies with that, that will apply Chiron's mark. Oh, really? Or his so masterful shot. Straight afterwards, you can just fire off his masterful shot. So now shot. you can one-two the whole wave, okay. and you have an extra way to apply this to enemies. To Interesting. Yeah. Oh, so that, that's going to be very, very impactful. We'll see how that works out for That's going to be a big be deal for the wave. It. Kronos is next on the list, and we yes. were talking passives. We just changed our Kwong, so we're right. changing Kronos too. This is another okay. god that just didn't have a passive. It was kind of hidden Within and, an ability. and split, it's, but it was really all part of Accelerate. Sure. So what we're doing is taking the whole Wheel of Time functionality that's all staying, it's going to just the text is going to be moved over to Accelerate as gotcha. what it's part of. He's getting okay. a new passive. So Accelerate is going to be all in part of itself. The passive is now going to be new passive, Time Lord. All parts of Wheel of Time have been relocated to the Accelerate ability. Kronos becomes empowered as time flows around him. Every two minutes, he gains a stack that increases his magical power. Stacks up to 25 times, and stacks are permanent. Magical power per stack is three. Two per minute at 25 stacks means that you're looking at 50, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. So this is, yeah, it takes a very long time to fully stack, but okay. it is 75 power in the absolute late game. And we want to kind of solidify Kronos' role as a late game powerhouse. Wow. She's just going to gain this power pass. I mean, they're, are, they're making it a late game meta. They give him a late game passive. I guess we play in Kronos, boys so and girls. Thematic and fits his kit. Perfect. And obviously, accelerate description change to include all the details of the wheel of time. This ability still functions exactly the same as it did before. So no changes to Kronos, just additions to Kronos. Correct. If anything, it's a power buff. Correct. Overall. Correct. Um, next on the list is going to be Isis too, and we've seen a lot of things with Isis being around here and there. The passive is going to get changed this patch. Funeral rites is no longer going to be lost on death. The passive Ooh. no longer going to be consumed on death. Uh, it's now going to have Isis will gain 10 CDR, 10% CDR, sorry, mm -hmm. upon reaching 10 stacks. Yeah, this really? was just kind of a, a weak passive. The God's great. Um, so really wanted to get rid of the feels bad moments. Really? really? Stacking that MP5 and HP5 was very impressive, and losing it that. all the time was also not very impressive. So it's 10 CDR once you get 10 stacks. So now you're going to keep it, and you get kind of a night with our evolution items. When you sure. finally finish off the stacks, you get a bonus effect. Awesome. So it's actually going to keep up the HP5 as well, the, the regeneration yeah, yeah, keeps in that all as well. That. Okay, yeah, keeps cool. all that per stack, and now you won't be able to lose that on death. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Is he real? Kappa. The, the the meme god? Kappa, Kappa, himself. Kappa. Cousin I love bro. the memes that people have been making. Keep photoshopping kids. Um, well, well I I this him, is then Wingus, Proc, Vampire, yeah, Trav, yeah, four, four, four times. Plus for Cousin Bo, Nene Kappa. Targets hit by the throw, Nene Kappa, are now slowed by 20%. Right, important. That is, is the, that a direct hit? That is the, that is, well, you can projectile bounce it, but yeah, yeah but I mean, it's, it is it's the hit them. of the projectile, not the basic attack of the minion. That's the key thing there. Sumo Slam as well. The incre We've increased the turn radius, allowing for sharper turning the, circles. The turn radius? Yes, the Subo Slam, as well as the cooldown has been reduced. It used to be 16 seconds flat. It's now going to scale down from 16 down to 12 seconds. And finally, last but not least, the Watery Grave, the ultimate. We've adjusted the knock-up from this ability. Targets will now be knocked up into the air more and pushed to the side less. Okay. So it's going to be a consistent knock-up potential, but not moving as much. Yeah, so Kuzumbo is a real wild card on team. He can do a lot of disruption, but yeah, it feels card, a little random that. sometimes. It feels a little uncontrolled, really bringing him to have more disruption more often and more control. So now he can steer his Sumo Slam better, and he can keep pe people in target with Watery Grave, okay. so as bit well more. as a slow. A little bit more control that could come into play mm -hmm. to allow him to okay. see function. Next on the list is going to be Naja. I don't know anything about this change. Oh, this no. is a hype one. Is it? Oh, yeah. Right, I'll read out them. Wind fire wheels. Enemies hit by wind fire wheels now have additional 0.25 seconds after the hit to use purification beads and avoid the ability. This matches the current animation more accurately. Right. Enemies hit by Naja will not be able to fire beads on their way up into the air. If you miss the window to escape, you will have your beads protected to be used later. Right. It's so, about time. Uh, well, it's a more complicated Thank issue than it sounded. I'm sorry. The but Lord! We yeah. did fix it. So now that animation where it looked like you weren't flying up to uh, the air yet, but you had been hit, you can still beads during that. Right. 
and then Finally, once you're already yeah. in the air, and there's at this point, beads will not help you. There's nothing you can do. It's a complete waste. We're actually going to silence your beads very shortly, temporarily, so you don't get that issue. Okay. So if you if you find yourself ulted by Neja and you can't fire your beads, it means you missed it. Can we can we have another ring toss bounce on for Neja? Oh no, Neja no just more. got nerfed now. No more. She it is nerfed. a slight nerf. Neja be also got, became very popular and strong lately. I saw. So I saw. Very I popular and strong lately. So maybe a little nerf is okay. Uh, next on the list is going to be Nemesis. A couple of rebalancing ideas around this now. Okay. Swift Vengeance oh increased gosh, the scaling no. from 50% to 60%. Okay. 25 per hit to 30% per hit. Yeah, that's the double dash. Yes, on the double dash there. Slice and Dice increased base damage from 80 to 280. It's now going to be 100 to 340. Whoa. At the top end. However, we increased the scaling from 50 to 60% as well, but we've reduced Whoa. the slow from 30 scaling up to 50. It's going to be 30 flat. So it's a damage increase, but a, a CC... I'll take that trade as a nemesis. Threat. Okay. I'll take that and trade that any day. Judgment, decreased protection shred from 50% to 30%. Right, so you're going to see the, oh, ult the ultimate trade. protection shred go down Bad a good trade. bit. This is really that Nemesis no is super prioritized lately. No deal. Home. She is really, really good at just absolutely removing somebody from the fight. We wanted her to have more consistent power, not just an absolute extreme uncounterable burst of it. Okay. So she's going to get more this damage on her dash and slice the dice. The trade deal. Jungle better, possibly just let her roam and pump ever. better. But we're going to have to bring the ultimate down a little bit to go along with that. New War is next on the list. And New War, the changes to her are this all a spicy around one too. her clay minions. Yeah. Okay. So what, what exactly is the plan with the clay minions? Wait, so you can on screen. This ability has <gasps> effectively had a completely no! different to it. So you have a new targeter attached to the ability that you may choose to mark a specific target that clay minions uh, will pursue. So. <laughs> right. You don't have to choose that, though. You may fire it any, anywhere. As you can see, it's still lit up, even right. when it's not marking the Odin. You get that extra element. Okay. So you, oh, this ability yeah. effectively can be used exactly <laughs> as long as if you want to. So you just let it go and it'll just fight. Yeah. If you want to prioritize a specific target, you may now we mark them, but the minions will chase them indefinitely. Die. Interesting. So they're, they're actually we just gonna gonna rack one up. target the entire time. They will. So if you use this, what about line of sight with that? Uh, I'm not trying to push you into you issues if you don't know. Say, pawn, pawn. Can you fire it? No, you can't fire it around walls. Gotcha. But what if you? Oh, okay. If they run off, it's or well, you can fire it. Where you block? You might have been blocked in your spawn radius. I think, I think it was more I was asking about like if they go around a wall in the jungle, will the minions still try and chase? The them minions will chase that target. Yes. Okay. Cool. So once they once they've chased them, they'll keep chasing them. And as soon as they die, like Calder esque. Yeah. That's yes. Amazing. Very much more like Calder. He is a much you know we have some. Uh, very different opinions every time we use AI in the game, and especially when you're having so much control over your gods and smite, like we did with Calder, made him more more uh, more controllable. Doing the same here. Now the other thing to mention as well, just to make sure, the clay soldiers will now dash through other targets, debuffing them, only stopping at the marked target. If that's if you're marked. Right. right so if I mark the back of the wave, Whoa. they'll charge through, through the minions too. And so same with gods, they'll dash through. They don't deal damage on that dash though. That dash is a, a debuff. I want the debuff. It's a, pen, a magical protection debuff. I yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so what, this, this is really what allows you to mark other gods, even in a heated battle, because they could get really stopped up on things. Another common complaint of having Nuwa before is if there's a lot of targets around and I'm still fighting a god, I can't use the minions because they just attack the closest minion or do something. But now you, you want can fix that. But now you can pick that god, they'll ignore Yo, the Yo, Nuwa might legit be nice. Right to that god. I'm excited to see if that's a really yeah. big buff. I, I, think, how I think it has a lot of potential to make a Nuwa. That's a huge change. Raijin. Oh, yeah. Is he alive? He is soon going to be. Oh, he is. No. So you're doing a lot of changes to Raijin in this patch, and it's going right. to be... What is there anything actually getting full? Is it a full rework? What exactly is going on? I wouldn't call this a full rework. I'd call this more of a heavy rebalancing, a lot like we did with Hades, Hell, things like that. He's getting a new passive that's going to give him bonus cooldown reduction as opposed to more burst damage. And he's seeing a lot of, a lot of changes to his numbers and the way his abilities fire across the board. Uh, the goal here is to watch out for their frustration factor in battling against Raijin. Okay. Back when Raijin was very powerful, before he had to receive many nerfs, was he felt very uncomfortable. He was able to do an insane amount of damage to you very quickly. So we're trying to look at his kit and really separate his utility from his damage to make you make the choice, okay. as well as make his damage take a little bit longer to absolutely unlit. Well, why Pompon -pom shows you on the screen a little bit of him dancing around, I'll quickly read out some of the stuff. The passive, for every five abilities cast, Raijin reduces the cooldown of all abilities currently on cooldown, including the one just cast, by one second. Right. And on top of that, Percussive Storm, which is the one, I believe. Mm -hmm. What we've done with this, we've adjusted the first two shots to so now travel down the center of the targeter, nice. and adjusted the last two shots to be closer to the center of the targeter. We've increased the ra shot radius from 3 to 4.5, 
and we've also increased the range from 65 to 70. Okay. On top of that, it's also going to have a damage increase. It used to be 25 to 85 per shot. It's now going to be 35 to 95 per shot. Okay. And decrease the scaling from 30% to 25% per shot. And decrease the cost from 80 to 100 is now going to be 50 to 70. A lot of changes. And uh, then wow. Raiju now deals its damage over time. Maybe we shouldn't even read all of them. There's so many. Die. Yeah. Raiju, do, I'll, I'll, I'll speed read it or now, guys. You skip the numbers and just say the increase, oh. decrease, maybe. All right, cool. Increase the damage on Raiju's from, from a flat 6D. It's going to be a now a, a dot damage, I guess, is the best way to Right, and this was part of that, that burst. So now you can see these. these Ooh, yeah, they're all dotted. So it takes a little bit longer for Raiju to get that damage off. And we reduced the scaling from a flat 70% to 13% every 0.5 seconds. Now applies a 15% slow to the mark target as well, targets as well right. with Raiju. Okay. So it's got a little bit more utility in this and the cooldowns come down quite a bit as well on this. Obviously you'll see this in the full patch notes too. Apologies for this. Uh, Thunder Crash is now targetable until he fades away to his new uh, location. Right, so that whole warm-up now, he can still mm. be damaged. Oh, really? Yes. Awesome. But the, the window seems very small. It is, it, is, it is small, but it, it really prevents him from getting that really quick kind of counter yeah. effect where he could he could go right through things. And it, it used to look like you were hitting him, right? It did. And it that did. was the most frustrating part, so really getting rid of that frustration. Okay. And finally, the ultimate, the Taiko drums, have improved the sound. Oh, interesting. So it's different. The different drums are a little bit beats. clearer yeah. for the drum beats. Okay. And the visual effects is the, the biggest difference. Well, the projectile speed has redu been reduced from 120 to 100 per second. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's move a little slower. A little bit slower. A little harder to hit. Increase the fire duration from 4.5 seconds to 7 seconds. You can say in that ultimate for 7 seconds. Wow, a lot longer. And we've reduced the damage on beat 2, the taunt, and the 3, the fear from 50% to 30%. So the taunt and the fear are going to do less Much damage than more control. Damage. Right. Previously, one of the issues that we had, you had frustration with with Rajan is he could taunt you three times from long range and still do an insane amount of damage. Yeah. Now, you have, if you want to do the big damage on the skill shot, you really got to focus on that drum beat one. If you want to do more control, you got to go to two and three, but you're going to lose a lot of damage. And there's a lot of time for you to be able to hold that ultimate. Seven seconds is quite a long time. It's time for you to be able to sustain that immunity ultimate. Potentially move around a little bit slower, obviously, but then, you know, like pick those points wisely with the shots. It's still a good time to kill him. He got him there. But it does so let him set up if he wants worse. to really wait for someone to combo to go for the damage, or if his team wants to make a call about who he can CC. Both th that extra duration really gives him a lot of what I feel like. Well, there's a little look at Raijin. Obviously, there'll be more detail on him on the patch notes as well. On the patch notes release straight after this show. Once you read them, you'll be able to see all of the changes. There's a long uh. list of bullet points for him. Yeah, we're an hour in already. We've been stood here, still going. We're almost there. Sobek is the next up, and it's going to be a small change here. We're going to increase the Blessing of Annihil, increase the duration of the protection debuff, sorry, buff, I should say, mm -hmm. from three seconds to six seconds. So, big buff for Sobek, actually, double mm -hmm. his passive. Well, his passive stacks would just fall off very quickly. And a lot of times, uh. um, especially, it was awkward during his alt, which mm -hmm. he really incentivized to use for the full duration, was longer than his passive buff. So it would fall off while you're doing it right, <laughs> Yeah, which didn't really make much sense. Which was awkward. So now he's just going to be able to keep those protection stacks a lot more easily. Okay. Next on the list is Susano. Now, oh, this is another big one. Susano's going to get a new passive this patch, right. basically. Ooh. What's the yeah. reason for? So Susano's been a hotly debated god. He's been all over the place, and he's still giving people a lot of trouble on the battleground. Okay. So what we're going to do here with his new passive Gathering Storm is going to remove all of that extra mobility. That movement speed, although you might not necessarily feel it immediately, r was very powerful. It let him make really good rotations. It let him juke a lot of abilities. It made him just harder to hit. So he's no longer going to get any bonus movement speed. He's already quite mobile. That is gone. Love Instead, it. he's going to build up stacks by uh, dealing damage to gods. Okay. And then at the full stacks, his next ability will deal bonus damage. And this is going to have a duration to it, too. So he's just not going to run around fully charged the whole time. He's going to have to use that at a smart time. And it's not going to apply to all of Stormcata's hits. It's only going to apply to one instance of damage. He'll do a little bonus damage. And we're going to nerf Stormcata's damage pretty okay. heavily to go along with that. Okay. okay. So, so less mobility and less damage all the time, and damage only at more pinpointed times. Cool. So just to read over for you guys real quick, each time Susano successfully deals damage to at least one enemy god with an ability, he gains a stack. At four okay. stacks, his next ability that hits an enemy god will deal bonus damage. Stacks last for five seconds. So it's all about getting in there and dealing that, and the bonus damage will be 25 plus 60% of your physical power. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, Storm wow. Katar, we've decreased the base damage from 40 to 160. is now going to be 40 to 
to 140, so top end changes there, mm. and decrease the physical power scaling from 65% to 55% too. Yeah, 10% per hit, it's a, it's a pretty big hit on his uh, damage okay. there. Mm -hmm. So you're really gonna have to use that passive smartly if you wanna be a top tier season of player now. And the final god to change in the That's next good. season patch is gonna be Ooh. Ooh. And what it's basically going to be is the bladed arrow and thrown axe. We've reduced the mana cost from 50 to 70. It's now going to be 50 at all ranks. It's nice. a small mana change there. And expose weakness and invigorate. We've reduced the cooldown from 18 seconds to 16 seconds. Nice. As well as the power has changed from 10 to 50. It's now going to be 25 to 45. Yeah, that's a big change. So that early like, game wow. buff. Like, yeah, yeah, early game buff, late game nerf. Ex expose weakness is now going to be a little bit more of a one point wonder. Mm -hmm. It's going to actually be useful early game, which is it really didn't do much and. Stancers usually have issues with mana, so we took some mana cost down there, there too, just to make it a little more fun. Buff my so a little look so far at what's going to be going on with the patch, but we still got a few. That is all of the balance. Well. It's wow. all balanced on that is the most it. part. Uh, so next up is going to be skins and talking about Summer of Smite is the next thing on the list. Summer of here. Smite is here. Man. What's the plan with Summer of Smite? So Summer of Smite is it's going to be very similar to a lot of previous Summer of Smites. We're going to have a couple little new features going on here. One thing is that Summer <laughs> of Smite will have a bunch of new, That's also cute. like the Egyptian event, free to do quests that'll give you smaller rewards, bonuses, you'll need to do those quests and buy the skins to choose which bonus item you want. So no puzzles like that event, okay. but you buy a skin, you do a quest, and you get to choose which of the bonus items you want. You don't have to get them in order like old Summers of Smite, and if you buy all the skins you'll be able to get the rare final skin. Now I've been told something about Ario. Do you know about this? About what? Ario, is it? Aria? Aria? I, no one's told me what it is, I've just heard it now, so... I think you mean RTO? RTO, then. I didn't know, I, I was going to say, Ario? RTO? Whoa. Oh, It's oh. a bear! Yes, okay. It's a freaking bear! Have we got a bear in the game? Soon. So as I announced earlier today, Is that high res soon, or is that... It's going to be in patch 4.14. Okay. RTO, Yo, RTO we got a bear! She will be a new goddess that can transform <gasps> from a druid to a bear. Yo, that'd be sick. And I, not going to give away too many more details about her. You can try to infer her class and pantheon from her art. Yo, mage. But she is coming along really well. Mage, really dude, cool. look at that's like a look at that thing. That's like a she staff. Great for that as well. Now on top of that, as well, she's a mage, yo. She's a shaman. She's a mage. The mid lane. The gods. And then be able to available for you to pick up the bundle in Hand of the Gods. And if you do so, you'll get the Venus skin in Smite. Venus Aphrodite skin That's for Smite. The yep, the can, Venus Aphrodite. Can be attained by buying the Hand of the Gods bundle. It's much better. On top of that, there's a Cousin Bow skin. A new skin. And we should be showing it on card art right yeah, now. Yeah, let's get to the summertime. So this oh, is the first yeah. summer of Smite Ooh. skin. This is Kaijin Bow. Oh. Is it always Kaiju? <laughs> I'm surprised we called that's, it the Kaiju I don't so want to. I don't want to mess with this guy. Yeah, yeah no, that's one ugly oh, mother trucker, dude. Yeah, he's really scary. Oh my god, he's so scary and so ugly. Yeah, I think so. Looks like a I think Chuck was heavily I do not like him. I bet Chuck would be like, "Yeah, Hindu, I was dead." Oh, even yeah. Though Hindu this this was a big this was a big uh, driving force. Chuck was a big driving force behind this one. He really happy with how this one turned I out. I do like the arms as well, the muscles and stuff. Oh, the, yeah. the best thing about this <laughs> right now is normally we do patch notes with so many people, and I only really talk about this game if I like Jeez. it, and I actually do like that one. So I'm well, talking. That's why I'm like, "Oh, the I'm glad you like it." It's it turned out pretty badass, and I'm a big fan of that. Well, now that he and look at the little there. Nene kaiju's. Are they called Nene kaiju's? Are we really going with here? Uh, yeah. What else would you call them? I have no clue. I want to think of something, but. The, oh, they're so cute. The Nene Kajus. Man, this, this creature looks like it came out from the depths. Cars and buildings and stuff. It's great. Like, it was so somebody dug too Kaiju deep and awoke to so There's the shield spikes man. for you guys at home, too. Ooh. And then we're going to have the Super yeah, Slam. His spikes, actually, that pop out on the shield spikes are a different shape, more like that kind of curved beetle shape. It looks really cool. Okay, we can see what actually we can see watery grave. I just thought, is that going to be in the patch for now? We can see it, the actual changes to it. Yeah, yeah, you you, you, awesome. you will. You'll see. The people don't knock as far away. It's more up. There's still a little bit of a way, but it's. But you mostly can still juggle them a little bit better. Mm -hmm. you can I guess. Them better. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it in that way. Okay, well, it's okay. a nice little look at Beyonce's a little bit of an earlier look at Cousin Mo in game as well as the skip. He does have a voice pack, I believe. So let's have a little listen to that voice pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really, I'm impressed. Radiating! <coughs> I am unstoppable! <laughs> 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 Gotta clear your throat, dog. <laughs> That's great. One stop, and you are dead. How do you communicate with a kaiju at 10,000 fathoms? Drop him a line! Uh, uh, Tina. Fun. Yeah. Shout outs to Tina. It's all right. Wish you could be here. It was on, it was on focus. It was on point. It was, it, was. it was good, but it was still bad. It's still cringy. Right, but it fits the skin very well. As per you. And I like that nice, deep, echoey voice. He actually sounds like a giant monster. It's 
Awesome. Well, there's a little cousin bow. Next up on the list is going to be Foxy Lady Dashi. This is your second Summer oh. of Smite skin. There are only two Summer of Smite skins in this patch. There will be more in future patches. So these are actually going to be part okay. of the Summer of Smite bundles, right? They're going to yes. get together. Cool. That's awesome. Neat. Let's have a look at that in game then, because she looks fantastic. Yo, her and Bologna, yeah, dude. Yeah, look at the high-res car. High-res car. We got the, the, the dodgy oh. logo in the background, which you'll see soon. This is kind of along the theme of the, the Rocka Bologna. Yeah. This yeah. is a really cool outfit. Say. Um, so the artists really like how this, how this worked with dodgy. And uh, her tails. Oh, like yeah, really she looks she looks really cool. She looks really good in game. I do like everything about the model for the most part. I mean, everything about the model. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Oh, what was that jump? Ooh, those effects are a super. Lot of fire effects and that's kind of. You see the blue yeah, to yeah, yeah. orange there for the autos too. Yeah. Let's go for the abilities. I need to learn these. It's flame hands is what you I'm calling. You can get behind that sure. and in front I'm of still it. Still learning these horrible burns. <laughs> flame hands. <laughs> flame on is what I'm gonna go with that. And then a thousand cuts of needle death. You got it. I just made that up, but I guess I was close. It's a thousand cuts. Is it really? One thousand cuts. There you yeah. go. Sometimes it just osmosis. I get things for osmosis. What? We also speak, specifically pick names that are. Okay. Next one's tele before. Teleport and right. kill. Specifically, it's a hard one to say. Teleport and kill. <laughs> Teleport and kill? No, that's called <laughs> trickster spirit. Close that's enough. a trickier one. Close enough, though, right? That one's a bit of a stretch. Okay. Now, giant pole of doom that pulls people to their death by <laughs> the Aries. The Pow Lao. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> that, it was <laughs> Look at it, the neon dodgy. It's exactly what Hindu says. From I heard. Art. It's like a jukebox. Did I, hear, I thought I heard the music. Is there it really a jukebox? Box. That's awesome. It. <gasps> That's cool. That's such a good idea! That is cool. That yes, is cool. that is great. And she comes with a voice oh, pack as man. always. So let's have a little listening to the new voice pack. You're such a boss. Right on. I'm a cool cat. Do you just dent my rod? You better bring it, darling. You can dent my rod, my babe. My tail proof that men what? can't focus on nine things at once. Oh, oh you're interested. <laughs> no thanks. Quality <laughs> only takes quality. She's too good for you, Hindu. I believe she's got a dance emote as well. Oh, yeah, new, new emote. This will, of course, work on all skins. This is. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Pod Pod's got it. Right, Dan yeah, Timo, let's go. We saw him. He got it from the chest. Oh yeah. yeah he right. would have missed it if he didn't have to demo triumphant chest. Dance, 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 dance. dance. That's boop, hilarious, boop, actually. Boop, boop, boop. There's a little Kadaji. dance works on all skins. But that's not the only Whoa, skin that's coming Freya? from this patch. I believe this is Ordo Aurora Freya. It Correct. Is. So we're outside of Summer Smite now. This is a new Whoa. Freya skin, alien themed. And I don't know much of information about any of these things, so you're going to have to help me out a little bit more. She's got new animations and things with this and voice pack too? Yes. Awesome. I mean, it looks like should, but Whoa. I just want to make yeah, it all before. New, new effects and a uh, new voice pack. She reminds me a little bit. That's very me. different. Maybe. I can that feel that. A, that might have been I a, can a, feel a, a, little loose, bit a loose inspiration. I'll be honest, like I can see a little bit of it, that's all. Just a loose inspiration. But it looks good. Oh, I that sword. Now, the sword reminds me of He-Man. I was thinking Mass he Effect Freya, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the first yeah, thing yeah, that I thought is that Mass Effect right. Freya. Wait, would it be He-Man? It might be somebody else, too. But I guess yeah, it's also Star Wars. I guess Star Wars, Wars, Star Wars and Mass Effect. It's theory, kind of a beam know, sword, also, too, yeah. which is cool. So. Nice effects. I wish I wish had a deep voice then for a second. I think that was just... Ooh. Yeah, maybe a little bit. She's, a, she's, she's nothing wrong with it. I was just warrior. saying, like, I was like, oh, she's a little bit more aggressive than usual. Ooh, those uh, spike pulses, she's like shooting the blade of her sword. Well, that's going to be interesting. I that's like cool. Yeah. Looks like we have an audio bug there. That'll be fixed. And the banish. And then this is why I call the ultimate of take to the sky for free and do lots of damage. So that's a good it. name. Maybe we'll change it to that. Thanks, I like man. how she has a, like a physical cloak. It's pretty cool. Explosion effects are really yeah. nice. Like a hero when she takes it, that's why. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, that's a sweet jump. The jump is Whoa, that is it's a sweet S -tier jump. S-tier jump. I don't know, Jing Tens is really high up there. It's very similar Jing to Jing Tens. Jing Tens and Aries are up there, but yeah, you're right. It's very similar. Let's have a listen to the voice pack for this new Freya skip. Woohoo! You're rocking it. Excellent. I guess I'm pretty good. Woohoo! Woohoo! Pump up woohoo. If it comes to it, I will kill you. Thanks, Bob. Come on, do your best. <laughs> I'm trying. What goes faster than the speed of light? <laughs> Me getting out of there when I first saw your face. Oh, <laughs> savage. Wow. <laughs> Rude do your best. Is. I'm trying. Still a couple more skins to go. And the next <laughs> one is, this is the one in the chat. What? This is Head Over Heels Cupid. 
head over heels. It's kind of a play like we when we did Derpules. I mean, oh just no, like he's big know. head Cupid. Well, his head. Oh no! About three times the normal. Oh <laughs> the no! Yes, he's the reverse of Derpules. Reverse Derpules. So this yes! is the one you can get only by getting it for free through the triumphant chest, and well, it's got a unique voice pack. Let's have a lesson oh, to this voice pack. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. This arrow is aimed at your heart. She loves me. She loves me now. Oh, yeah. Girl, she loves me. Have you ever been so in love that you feel like your heart will explode? Do you want to be? Ready or not, here I come. So you basically, Cupid went through puberty. <laughs> and it's Cupid with his big head has a big deep voice to go along with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to be able to see that in game, is that correct, right now? Because it's still in development, or are we going to be able to see this too? <laughs> we're not going to be able to see this right now yeah. because it is still in the final developments, but this oh will be available, God. I believe, in the next pack. It'll be available oh, in 413 through the triumphant chests, and we will, we'll, we'll, and we'll tweet out some we'll videos. We'll tweet about oh, this and show some videos no. about this as soon as we're ready. But it's hilarious. It's reverse Derpules. Oh, man, I want to play it. Those of you who thought that Cupid's head was big already. You have not that seen genuinely it. caught me well, so next off guard. Up is Warden <laughs> Kernanos is on the list. Uh, I don't give. I don't care about yeah, you. You know why? Because two. you're not big. So this is okay. direct, direct purchase tier two. Oh, this is tier He's got good. a really cool set of wooden armor uh, attached to him. Gosh, nice. it feels like he suits him as well. Yeah, literally. Like, mm. So this is good. obviously a tier two. So the abilities don't really change that much. But we can still see what the Shifter of Sands uh, seasons look like in it. Yeah, we can. Shifter of Sands, I said. <sighs> Shifter, and yeah, well, that's close. We have one of those. I know. I, that's why I got confused. And I guess they're kind of similar, you know, Beast Man. I guess to an extent. Yeah, Hunters. It's a fine Can we change the colors? Oh, no. He's still yeah. panning around. He's doing I don't nice care about pan. I want to well, see the color changes. It's more people like the paint. I don't like green, okay? I love the green. Yeah. I like yellow. How dare you? Blue! I yeah. actually look So you see his fur bit. and his crystals, which is the, kind of the new cool feature of this tier two, is he's got these additional crystalline. Um, pieces on his on his gauntlet and his shoulders and his um, arms and legs and those ah. all change colors along with the skin that's cool. as well as just the fur which that fur is all that changes on this base skin and that tier 2 you actually get these changes on the armor that's it's cool really for cool. tier 2 as well yeah, it's really cannot nice. be upset with that one available for you guys in the next patch and right. finally as well as this, we've also going to have Kukulin Masteries. Kukulin Masteries. They're going to be available oh. in this patch too. Oh, that's, 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 an, that's an angry, that's an angry eye. Oh, no, I really like the how angry is his it bulk is. is. He, he looks really calm in the angry, first yeah, picture, like, don't mess with me. And then the other one was like, you messed with me. That's, yeah, that's what happens to him. It's kind of what happens. Sh in the game. Shouldn't have done that. So there's a little look at the base version for you. Yeah, it's a nice color scheme. Go goes well. I like the, how we can use the tattoos. How did he just move? That, this is how Pon Pon wins games, you know. I swear. Did you see him just move from base to there? Pon Pon doesn't cheat in life. Come on. He doesn't need to. I saw he, nothing. I saw him. I thought he said saw nothing, man. Spawnbot Olympian. What's he going to do with this? Is he gonna just I think he's going to hulk. Oh, yeah. he needs to hulk out, doesn't he? There we go. This is how he cheats. He goes in the. This is how he gets ahead in the jungle all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. He just spawns. <laughs> just spawns Look at all the, did you see that cascade of golden experience? Yep. Looks good. Oh, he is in the blue. pulsing. He really is. And that's the base version. We do have two other versions. Yeah, he's as got well, legendary I and diamond. I always like the legendaries. So I don't know why big. I, and I mean, bulging. legendary is just a cool color scheme. It's it's black and gold. It's just badass. So we'll look at that one then. I'm a fan of the legendary as well. Pompon's not done his key bindings today. Mm, he's back in like the See, he burns out of enough bindings. I love that he has to type some of them. There's only that looks good. I like that. Yeah, that one is cool. Okay. I like the black tattoos. Really nice looking there. Pom Pom Rage out for us. Yeah. Parallax. Oh, so by the way, we can see a little example here of the parallax occlusion that we talked about. Oh, see yeah. how the stones really look like they have depth between the cracks and, and they really mm. jut out of the floor? That's what that is. So you can turn that on in the new graphics update and see that. And when you turn it off, they'll look a lot flatter. So make so it feel like you're actually a part of the environment. And the environment's not separated from the characters in the environment. Right. So those of you with some, some higher end computers can, cool. can really enjoy these extra features. Okay. That's kind of cool. Thanks for mentioning that one production too. Game and the changing diamond skin viewing pleasure. Very um, nice. You know, we're like how the tattoo that, kind of changes yeah. along with the skin. They all go so well with his tattoos, which is really cool. Yeah. Really, really nice on that one too. And I think that's it. What did we get for it? We did it in less than that, an hour and a half. That's it. We did it. We we aggressively planned to make sure we got it in under an hour and a half. Now we do also have a pedestal that I heard about as well, which aggressively is part of the smite bundle. Yes. Yeah. So we might have to take a look at that after Pompon rages out and shows the diamond. There it is. It's a true aquarium. 
Oh, that's really and cool. And the fish all swim around in there. It's, it's, it's an it's aquarium. Can you, have, can you get Kraken in there for us? <laughs> I mean, a little baby Kraken or a little like a little ooh, rubber ducky. That's, that's a great. Really that's a great idea. It's a little late now, but I, you know, See, this Chuck is, is watching right now. If he can do it, he'll See, do it. Listen, Chuck, you're just gonna bring me into these meetings now. They're gonna give He's you a little bit of advice. Yeah, yeah. Well, Chuck does like resting up his pull side, so he he's probably cursing us right now if we can't do it very easily. So that's Just also nothing is easy, but it never is. Nice. Not for design, not for artists anyway. That's for sure. Yeah, it's always tricky. But that's it now, guys. That's pretty much the patch. We Obviously, the patch note show will sorry the patch. Is that yes? We'll be live online momentarily as yes. soon as the stream goes down. <laughs> Apologies for some of the tech it. issues, like not having the usual stuff we normally have with the full squad on things, but we're set up for an event. Wow. Yeah, and we're really excited about this event. It should be a lot of fun this weekend. Is Make sure you tune in for Smite Valencia. Not just Smite, we've also got Paladins and Hand of the Gods going on all weekend too, so it's a bit of fancy for everyone. And if you are in Spain or in local Europe, get a train down, come say hi. Yeah, hit us up. It's not too far. Uh, AJ will be here all the time. So basically, that was obviously the biggest patch we've had uh, of this season. Way too much crazy stuff to even talk about and go over. The two, three things that matter the most off right at the top of my head. Number three, minion waves meet at the same time in all lanes, meaning that as a mid laner, you're not getting ganked by the solo laner before the, as the wave meets because they have to be in their lane to get XP. Number two, Tier 2 Towers and Phoenixes, particularly Phoenixes, are crazy OP now. Slash Rip Hunters in every way possible. And of course, number one, that Cupid skin is all that matters. Anybody without that Cupid skin will be a lesser Smite player. That's all I know. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for the support. And as always, have a twitching day, y'all.